This is really neat. A Raleigh native finds a cure for his own disease and now wants to do the same for coronavirus. Yeah, I love the story. CBS 17's Russ Bowen joins us now. And Russ, he turned a near death experience into a positive. Oh, no doubt about it. Dr. David Fagelbaum grew up in Wake County and it was on a road trip home that he had this magnificent revelation. I spent my, my years growing up dreaming of one day playing college football. I had um, incredibly supportive parents and also sisters who supported me along the way. But for David Fagenbaum, that dream came to an end when his immune system turned against him by shutting down his organs. Undergoing chemotherapy for Castleman disease, he nearly died five times. Since nothing was working, the then third year medical student searched for his own cure. I thought about it as kind of going out swinging, like I've got this terrible disease. It's going to keep coming back, and I'm going to fight fire with fire, and I'm probably going to lose. But at least I will have, you know, done everything I could to fight for for life. And he won that fight by finding a 30-year-old kidney transplant drug that's allowed him to be in remission for seven years, and to document that journey in a book called Chasing My Cure. Now the Raleigh native and immunologist is applying the same idea to help fight COVID-19 with the Corona Project. Going through all of the drugs reported to be used for COVID, tracking them in a central place. Looking at specimens and samples from patients to understand are there other drugs that should be tried and really pushing things forward as quickly as possible. Known as the doctor who cured himself, Fagenbaum has some advice for all of us. I'm living proof that because I went from being a very hopeful person to being a very hopeful person who also acts, I'm alive today. So, so I want to encourage you, even when you feel your lowest points, to, to turn your hope into action. Words to live by, and that cure he found for himself has now saved other lives as well. If you'd like to hear more from Dr. Fagenbaum, the North Carolina Museum of History is hosting a Zoom event with him tonight. That's at 7 o'clock. Rod.